All right, so we're live. So this is never going to be perfect, and I'm a perfectionist, so I always want to do the best job that I can. So take all mistakes for love, but at least we're kind of starting at the right time. So this is all part of the plan. This is uh, uh, January 1st, 2019, and we're live on Facebook now. This is the, the Truman Show. This is the reality show. So I'm just going to tell you what's going to happen during the show for this year. So we're starting on the 1st, and we're finishing on the 27th. We're going to have a finale there. Um, we're good on the start, but as far as where we are location-wise, not exactly there yet. What I'm doing now is working on the, the pitch, um, working on the pitch and also getting feedback. So I would like to get your feedback as well on what you think about this, this, this vision. But there's a lot of probabilities that I put out there, um, like this form, FEC2, hasn't been filed yet, but the potential of being the first awake president, that's there. So these are things, and those are you know way far out there examples, but uh, all of the things that I'm talking about have already happened. So let me tell you what just happened during Christmas. And this is the lab. This is where I work at. Nothing, nothing too major. I have a couple examples of things that I've set up beforehand just to give you an example of what I'm going to be doing in real life. So these scenarios are things that I've set up beforehand, uh, planted seeds to, uh, for, and uh, basically it's the best news that I think you'll ever hear. I don't think there's anything more important than this as far as a topic. And I think it's timely, I think it's needed. I think it opens up a lot of probabilities and potentials that are here now. So, and it definitely has to do with spirituality. When you look at the root cause of everything that's going on here in this reality, how we're treating each other, uh, the ignorance that's here, um, it becomes to me uh, the lack of spirituality, a lack of that connection. That is the problem when you really boil it down. So when I looked at ways that I could be of service and ways that I can help, that's what I looked at. That information is suppressed. The information that we are spiritual beings have in the human experience, um, just that in itself um, is a big deal. And that's something that's uh, coming out now. So we're in that time where this is going to be common knowledge. So I'm one of the guys that's doing a reality show based on that actual truth that I'm on this side saying, I'm a spiritual being having a human experience and this is my reality show. It's called The Truman Show as a play on the movie The Truman Show. It's spelled differently though. It's uh, in the movie Jim Carrey uh, found out his world was artificial and he left. So imagine Jim Carrey coming back with the camera. That's The Truman Show. That's this reality show. That's what you're seeing now. Um, basically, from that perspective, you realize that there is a matrix and you can awake from that matrix. So when you listen to someone like Anthony DeMayo or other people talking about the awake state, is it, it is true. Coming from someone who was asleep and is now awake, um, not that it's a big deal, it's our natural state. So that is going to be our natural state. We're going to evolve back to having that connection and that's going to allow us to have different probabilities. So i just give you an example of opening up those probabilities, right? So when I went home for Christmas, I talked to my folks about this and I made it public, just like I'm making it public here, that I'm officially on this side. So I am interacting with the matrix now. I'm showing the matrix ex itself. And I put up what I call the 100 degree challenge. That's basically the path that I took from a logic standpoint to show that this state of awareness is possible. Uh, can a radio turn to more than one station? Is there a station of higher awareness? So your scientists, they're talking about this being a holographic reality or this being a uh, simulated reality, uh, but they don't question who they are in relation to this reality and what can be done to make it better. So I always want to look at what's applicable. What can we do? Um, what can we experience? If we can create the reality we want to experience, why create this one? So this is about different options. So I'm just showing you an example of that. And basically the reality show is just amplifying all the things that I've done over the years and set up examples like this. So imagine someone taking a limitless pill and working on that plan, but not to make yourself rich and powerful, but to help the most people the most. And this has been years in the making. So these are just props. Like I won this at a talent show at work. You know, I do have a regular nine to five job, um, but I think the way this is going to Oh, still alive. The way this is going to evolve, it may take uh, me to be full time. First, I want to see the awareness for this. This is definitely new. This is definitely shocking. Uh, I'm being bold and upfront with it. This is out of my comfort zone. Um, but this is something that I feel needs to be done. This has been suppressed. There has been a limit to this being in the mainstream. And 
Um, I don't even get into that. I'm more of getting the information out. So we can discuss it as far as what's true and what's not. So the 100 degree challenge is that saying that that's the foundation that we're standing on. And um, I'm definitely open to any questioning. So um, this is going to be interesting. Of course, I'm not the only one. There's others as well. Uh, there's others that are speaking out as well. We're just going to tie all of that together and it's going to be pretty cool. So again, I was talking about Limitless, working on a plan to help the most people the most. So that includes setting up scenarios in the future that we're going to experience now. And I'm going to experience it with you. It still takes me to do the action, but these things are set up. And when I talk about um, a spiritual being, it's, I use this as an example in the talk, that pen, right? So if you can imagine the pen in the paper, so the pen is more than just the ink on the paper. You are more than just what you see here. You're more than that. So when you have that awareness, you're able to control the, the pen more. It's, it's, it's you that is controlling it, not anyone else. So you can write history differently. So that can be a nine instead of a six. And uh, I had this whole talk on six nines and all of this stuff. But I don't want to get too far ahead. I'm trying to keep this short. But I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in. I had a clip on Limitless here, and I had a clip on Lucy here. So let's see what they say on Limitless. So this is kind of how it felt to me when I had my experience in the Everglades. It's to where your higher self, your spiritual being, kind of aligns with your physical being, and you have an increased awareness. And, I mean, that's an example of it. So with that increased awareness, uh, you realize that, for one, this exists in everybody else, and why isn't this mainstream? Why isn't this talked about? Uh, if you can access your own limitless pill, why isn't this um, mainstream? You know, especially if it helps humanity. So there's a reason for that, and there's a suppression uh, against that. So that's part of it. So this is all about probabilities and possibilities. So me putting this out opens up the probabilities. Me doing something that gets it in the public eyes opens that up more. So even though I'm normally a shy person and I'm reserved and I would normally never do this, there's a reason that I'm trying to put this out in the open. And uh, I know I'm gonna look like a bad guy to some folks, but I'm just gonna do what I do and, and uh, try to help as many people as I can while I'm here. So I also wanted to show you this real quick. And this is all live, so we're experiencing some technical difficulties here. But I wanted to show you this as well. This was on the PlayStation, and this was what Lucy was talking about in the movie Lucy. Uh, hold on. Just give me one second. I may hit the wrong button. This is what Lucy says. So you never really die, right? So if you're an actual spiritual being having a human experience, then that's just part of that illusion, right? So there's a lot of ways to look at it. Um, and a lot of the questions I feel um, have been answered in videos that I put out previously. So again, this is about time travel as well because we're looking in the past of things that led up to this point. So this has been years in the making. And uh, just to show you probabilities and possibilities and creating something different, something new that's here right now. Like we have the ability to rewrite history if we want to and do something totally different. So for instance, going home, uh, these songs that are in existence now weren't in existence before. You know, whether you like them or not, they were pulled out of the air. They were created out of nothing. Right? So that's one example. And then, um, and we'll be putting these out. These are part of the creations that are coming along with, with this journey. This is part of what I do. So along with talking to people about the challenge, I'm also creating and I'm showing you what happened in this instance. And then after that, we had another song that came out of that. And I'll play a little bit of that one as well. That's another song. But again, we're having technical difficulties. But, uh, but yeah, so... Just giving you examples of all of that. Like I did videos explaining all of this. Like that little sword is supposed to be like the sword of truth. And then this is the open carry deal. And this is, you know, 
what I did and what I'm doing and what I'm going to do. And I talked about the reality show and the artwork and the, uh, well, I didn't talk about the artwork. So I'll be doing artwork and just, just being creative because I think imagination is important now because imagination allows you to look at potentials and probabilities and moves you can make that aren't really seen right now. So if you have a wider vision, a wider, further imagination, a further vision, you can see potentials that other people can't see and I'm acting on those potentials. So um, that's where we are. So I appreciate uh, all of you listening and looking and all of that good stuff. And uh, I'll keep checking in with you. And uh, if you have any comments, any feedback, let me know. I'd love to hear how you would do it. Uh, it's definitely a weird position to be in. Your life becomes like weird. But, um, but it's definitely a weird time that we live in. All the things that are going on, uh, what's become the norm for us is just weird to think about. So it's definitely time for us to do something different. It's definitely time for us to access higher dimensions of ourselves that are more uh, unifying and are more uplifting and more inclusive and more empathetic. So uh, I think that's definitely needed and more truthful, more open. So um, there you have it. Um, you're going to see the, uh, the, the Kickstarter, um, Kickstarter little campaign that's going to be to launch this. We're going to see what kind of reaction we get. I already kind of got it mapped out. There's basically three levels that um, you know that I'm looking at as far as to know what actions to take. Just like I know people will either ignore it, watch it, or support it. But um, definitely, if you watch it, that's a benefit because the more people that see it, the better. And then the more that they realize that oh, it's a thing, uh, they become curious and want to see for themselves. It's just like saying there's treasure beneath you. Um, if you dig, you, you'll, you'll find it, but if you choose not to dig, there's nothing that I can do about it. I've shown you examples of the treasure, but that's not your treasure. You have to find it yourself, but all you have to do is dig. And proof is in the dirt that's gone and the hole that you're in and all of that stuff. So um, that's just one example. There's plenty, there's plenty of parables. There's plenty of ways to look at it. If I knew you personally, I could explain it to you in your particular way, but that's part of this journey because as questions get asked, they get answered, and then we can go on to new questions. But uh, in a age of information, uh, choosing to be ignorant is not a wise choice nowadays. Uh, we need as many people to be aware of what's going on and willing to make change and know the proper change, the proper route of action uh, that's going to benefit them, their loved ones, and others the most. And that's what I feel that I'm doing. And I'm open to any suggestions. So I appreciate everything. Peace, y'all.